Hey, <laughs> this is, I guess, behind the scenes. Not really, but I'm gonna go give me some more green. So, <coughs> hold on, did I even do an intro? How you doing, how you feel, how you living? Let's do a thumbnail, but like, cause what I talk about is gonna, that's gonna be my face. My mom is watching a movie, so I don't think someone's actually downstairs screaming like crazy. So, I don't keep you loud, I'm up, man. And then they're watching some type of, I almost said spicy, but scary movie. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about my first love. Hey, it's just about to be lit. So as a disclaimer, I'm not going to discuss the bad things that happen, the negative stuff. I'm going to strictly talk about Okay, my bad. Mm. Let's focus on the good stuff. Because no slander. You know what I'm saying? That's not my intention. But, so my first love. Uh, so, I say we started off um, in sixth grade. We're well, not to get into too much detail. So, I ain't going to say no grades. I already said six. That's all you know. But we absolutely hated each other. Like, I don't think hate was like even a stronger word for it. Like, we absolutely did not like each other. We always cursed each other out. Yes, I know middle school was cursing each other out. Uh, cussing each other out. Um, I made her cry. And I, I would just... I was just being mean to her. She was being mean to me. It was just like, we just couldn't get along. I had a crush on her best friend, which it was, it was, yeah. But anyway, I had a crush on her best friend. Of course, she was like, boy, it's no. And then that just fueled my anger. I'm like, oh, why don't want me? But I was, I was a child. I know better, but um, I say the next grade uh, when we didn't see each other that often, but she's the one that actually spoke to me, and she was like, "Hey," I was like, "Hey," so I was on one hall, she was on the other hall, so we hardly ever seen each other. But when we did, it was always like, "Hey, what's up?" How you feeling? You know, and it's like the energy just it just it just flipped. So, um, what happened? So we converse, but not as much until the following grade. Um, uh, I'm gonna say we were friend of me. You know, we were we were cool, but we weren't. You know, we weren't that cool. We was like, hold on. You know what's going on. Eighth grade is when we became friends. When we actually took classes together. Listen, I I didn't know she was such a dope person. Dope. Like I felt like we were like meant to come together. Like the universe just brought us brought us around and for us to really get to know each other and talk to each other. And yeah, so like I said, I can't say too much because you know, whatever. But she was so cool, so cool. When well, let me say they because people like no, it's them or they, you know, type thing. Because it's a new, I ain't gonna say it's, it's a trend, but it's a new statement, so I gotta be careful. So I gotta say them and they until they say. Even then, are you some of my pronouns? But anyway, yeah, I met with a couple of people that's, that that were like that. That's what I'm like. Let me just say them or they. But yeah, so eighth grade, we were cool friends, but we wasn't as close. We were close, but we was getting we was building up towards being close. And then uh, high school came around. 
uh, we became best friends. Like, but like we would talk on the phone almost every day. Uh, she talked to my dad when he was alive. And it was a good energy, good vibe. I was like, wow. Like, at, at, at that time, I didn't know, you know, what that was. Now I'm like, oh, that's that's love. But we, we, we'll get into that. Um, we became best friends, started hanging out, um, going out to different places, of course, with our parents because we were underage. Um, and and from 10th grade, well, like, like for the rest of high school, um, actually, yeah, yeah, for the rest of high school, we, our friendship, we just went up and up and up and up and up, and then we can't talk about that, like, we just had a lot of disagreements, we became, um, toxic towards each other, and we had stopped talking for a, a little while, maybe a couple months, and then we both, like, almost called each other at the same time, it was like, um, I just have to hear your voice. I, just, I don't know if I can do this. Woo, woo, woo. And then that's when we had got back close again and we like into the arts and whatnot. And then that's when we, because, cause you know, she started dating and stuff. And of course, ain't no man going to be cool with me being cool with that girl. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not. Especially with our history, it's not going to work. So, you know, out of respect for her, um, I don't know if they together. Oh, they ain't my business, but whatever. Out of respect for her, we just ended up saying, hey, look, listen, let's just call it quits for real this time. And, man, ooh, anybody get teary eyed on here? I, I, I might, but. That's my first love and first, um, I ain't gonna say that's my first heartbreak. I'm gonna say second. But my, but my first, wow. Like, she encouraged me to get more into art, um, try new things when it comes to different mediums and stuff. So, despite all the things that happened, I wanna say thank you for help Helping me evolve myself, you know. Um, I just, I, I just thank you, and I hope that you are doing well for yourself. Um, I heard that you got a beautiful family now, and everything. I wish them nothing but good health, good success for you and your husband or boyfriend. I don't know if you're married or not. Let me not assume anything, but yeah, nothing but the best. But yeah, um, and we haven't talked in over five or six years. It's it's been a long time. But I just I just I just had to give you your flowers while you're still alive. You probably ain't gonna watch this video, which is just fine. And no disrespect to your husband or boyfriend, but just know that you got an amazing woman. Of course, we we're grown, um, and what what I get back with her. If the opportunity presents itself, no, no, because we were just toxic, <laughs> like toxic. Okay. We were very toxic, but like I said, nothing but love. And yeah, I think that's probably one of the best memories that I have so far. And I'm looking to have built some more very good memories with somebody else, you know? Like, wow. And you know, it's, it's, it's good to talk about things like this because it's still part of your healing process, your healing journey. And I don't think I ever fully healed from that. I've been trying to suppress it, but now you know, I'm I'm happy that she found her true love. I'm happy that she have her kids. She's living a good life. I'm so happy for her. She she is doing the thing. You know. Well, I really I really don't know since I've talked to her in about five to six years, but the last time that I saw her, 
uh, her sister posted something and I was like, oh, okay, she's doing good for herself. So, you know, hey, proud of you, kid. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, let me go ahead and go in. <sighs> I'm still healing from it, okay? I'm still healing from it. I did. Uh, like, uh. mm. but I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna talk more about it. Just know, I appreciate you for being in my life, even though it wasn't a lifetime. You still taught me so much, and you show me what, um, what I should want in somebody, and help me build my standards. So I appreciate you for that. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and go finish this off camera and put on a movie some. But yeah, see y'all tomorrow at 5, 15 p.m. Have a great day. And tell me about your love story, your love, your first love. You know, and I'm wrong with discussing it. It's a good way to bend and stuff. So, all right. Peace tomorrow. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. If you don't want to, that's your business. All right. Bye, y'all.